said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. So the serpent's a liar. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Boom. And when the woman, now this is the point right here I really wanted to get. It says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, it was pleasant to the eyes. That's the only thing a bitch cares about, and that's the spirit, and you can't deny it. The only thing a woman cares about is looking good. It, it. All, anything doing with something she can physically see. You know, she's always got her makeup done, got the hair done. You know, all these women think they're supermodels. Every last woman looks like she's walking down the, uh, down the strip on the, the model runway, you know what I mean? You got to get, get all done up. She take two hours to get dressed. Yeah, two, three hours. Here it is. You married with a bitch. You married to a woman, and she, she goes to work every day, but she wakes up in the morning, take two hours to get ready to go look good for for who? Not for you, for some motherfuckers she works with. Exactly. She ain't, she ain't going to take that time to get dressed up looking good for you. That's why only a woman cares. The woman's all, always the one in the Christmas decorations. In the Thanksgiving, decorating the house. Cause they, all they care about is the sight or what they what they see. Fucking sluts. That, that scripture right there proves the fact that as oh, soon as she's seen that little good to the eye, you know Adam told her the rules and regulations about things. Oh hell yeah. You, you know, you know what I'm saying? And she pretty much said the hell with Adam and the hell with the, the most, the high, most yeah. high. Yeah, that's the woman does when you tell her some shit. Yeah, she her mind, she's thinking other shit. She's always thinking, man. She that's disobeyed she the Lord and her husband. But I mean, she can't think, though. That's the problem. That's her fucking problem. She thinks too fucking much. See, so the woman, yeah. The woman's a servant. She's called one man because she was taken from the man. That's right. The scripture says uh, we weren't made for her, but they were made for us. Exactly. Right. You know? Uh, fuck. But, fuck. It look like we made for them. We serve them. That's some easy tolerance for niggas pushing that bullshit. Because a woman's supposed to serve. Like, when you get, they, when you get married to a woman in America, Oh man, they expect a man to get down on his knees and put a ring on the finger. Bow down before no, the woman. No, bro, you supposed to have women bowing down to you and saying, yes, my Lord. Yes, yes. And have you call your grace. Yes, your grace. Yes, my Lord. Yes, your highness. You know what I'm saying? Yes, uh, like uh, back to, uh, coming to America. Your royal penis is clean, your highness. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's, is, that's how it's supposed to be. Y'all motherfuckers on some faggot Uncle yeah, Tom yeah. Cap save a whole shit with these that movie, man. That movie was fucking stupid. I mean, like, he, she said anything you wish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything you tell me, my king. Whatever you But like he so. wanted the rebellious nigga woman in America. <laughs> what, what oh, the yeah. Said, that's the that's stupid what the horror said he left the queen, the bad bitch alone, went to Queens and found a cum bucket. <laughs> hey, that's what it was. A, a, right, a ghetto gagger, he said. A ghetto gagger. I used to yeah. love that movie. Now I hate it. <laughs> ghetto. Hey, that bitch like, he was set up for, that's he a said, bad He said bitch. hop on one foot. I mean, not to say she started do barking, that, but, right, right, you know right. what I mean? Nah, I think that was that entertainment. Yeah, that is entertainment. She was very submissive. What was that? He left, he left, he didn't want to deal with a submissive woman to deal with the American nigga woman. Oh, come on, fuck it. How y'all doing? What y'all Chinese motherfuckers doing? Can y'all speak English? Y'all right, uh, hieroglyphs? That's what Chinese is, goddamn hieroglyphs. You gotta draw a goddamn picture just to say duh. Just, just to write the word cat, you gotta draw a goddamn picture. They got too much money to make me hey, All tonight, that's all I've been seeing, man. Goddamn gooks everywhere. Yeah, that Chinese, that tells you they're heathens. Look at how they write. Nah, that's why we, we kept our shit simple. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers, you got it take a goddamn hour just to write one word like that. Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. Like, like you gotta you get out of here. You got that's all. Like, yeah. What the fuck? That's like yeah. the, that that's proves you the Egyptians were retarded. They drawing goddamn pictures on the wall. Pictures. Right, pictures, yeah. And you know how long it take you, you take a goddamn week just to write a sentence, bro. <laughs> Right Man, we was writing in texting language before text even came out. Woo! We ain't even had no vowel. We just boom quick with yeah, it. There you just go. Boom, boom. There you go. Uh, stick birds and uh, <laughs> stick people. The and alphabet. Shit. Every yeah, you wouldn't even be able to. Uh, yeah, could you imagine yourself being on a computer with hieroglyphs on the keyboard? Oh, like goodness. you'd be all fucked up. Niggas are stupid. Cause the, alf yeah. the alphabet go come from the Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? The alphabet is superior to all forms of writing on the planet Earth. Yeah, that's what, yeah, exactly. That, this is a superior form of writing. That's right. 
goddamn ancient Babylonians wrote in cuneiform. Man, you gotta be taking a goddamn mud tablet and stabbing the stab. <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? How we get back to the I'm way off point, man. Genesis. We making Climbing some crazy making some man. crazy videos. That's your job is to clown on these Yeah. It's the truth to it, man. It's the truth. You can clown a lot of man. Yeah, because when everything hit the fan, they really, they really going to get an ass out, <laughs> an ass out of they self. Uh, let me read this one more time. Fuck uh, niggas. Oh, no, that was the point. Go ahead with you. Ain't got, no brother I already read that. That's the no point on that. Now. I'm going to jump to Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. I'm going to read Ooh, a lot shit. of this, man. I want to read the whole chapter. Go ahead, that's fire. It's all oh, fire. Before you read that, let me just go read ahead, this. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, this is short. Hey, we got to get back to Exodus too. We never finished that. Let's we'll get that before we get the oh, night okay. over. Okay. Before okay. the night, so we we'll get this, that. This is short and simple. Because we're going into this anyway. This is bitches. This eat, 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 our clean bitch is ruling over us in the Egypt. So let's go back to you. What you got, bro? I'll probably get, uh, uh, I'm exactly right. But it's, uh, these Egyptologists pretty much calling themselves Hamlets. But I got a little well, scripture. Don't read. But the word Ham, they are saying they're Ham. They admit yeah, it. Yeah, they're like Sarah Sue like. said, he knows that the word Ham actually is come in Hebrew. It is the, it's the exact same. Kemet and Ham is the exact same word. You know what I'm saying? It's one and the same. It, and it does mean burnt. But he'll say, he he, he said, hold, well, right before you get that, he says proof that uh, being ham, that the proof to black people are Hamites is that it means burnt or dark. You know what I mean? That's not even good enough. But he said that's proof. But actually, because you read in the Bible, uh, it tells you that, uh, that the Shemites, they was also black too. Because uh, you remember uh, Ishmael had a son named Kadar. And Kadar means dark skin. That's right. And he was a Shemite. That's right. We can get that. That's right. Let me get that real quick before you get that. I'll just quote it real quick. Just read Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon. So, let me get it real quick. Just, Why are you getting that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Get that real quick. Because this is pretty much what the most high is going to do. You are making a point with that. With these hand mics. This is short and simple. This is uh, Zephaniah 2 and 12. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. <laughs> Those you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a real quick right to the point. Right to the Wait, point. Ethiopians are Canaanites, ain't they? Uh, Ethiopians are Kushites. Kush, right. But all they're the ham. Hamites. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, all ham. Which dumb dudes think they are. Think they Hamites. Let me get this real quick for you. Now this is prove. Right now this right here going to prove. It's going to prove that Hamites weren't the only dark people. Everybody was dark skinned. Adam means from the ground. What color is the ground? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, the light skin, that comes from leprosy. That comes from uh, some fungus. That comes from the disease of leprosy. That comes from the uh, curse from the Most High. Now, originally, there really there wasn't no leprosy. You had Cain and his people, but not even all his people was dark skin because he married uh, some dark skin people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so originally all people were dark skin, not just ham. Now, we're going to prove it right here. This is 100% proof. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Now you, because people will try to say that's not Solomon or whoever talking. Uh, it doesn't matter, because watch this. Order is referring to Israel. Yep. Not actually, Roman, actually. Because yeah. you, you know, uh, yeah, because Israel's uh, the wife. She's mm -hmm, the, right. the, yeah, really. Lord the husband. The most high is the husband. That's right. Yep. Song of Psalm 105. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. He says, uh, one more time, I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar. As could, at, he says, black as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Now, who is Kedar? Who's, what is Kedar? To be black like Kedar means that you black, because Kedar literally means dark-skinned man. And Kadar was the son of Ishmael. Mm. And Ishmael was a Shemite. Mm. He descends from Shem. One of it was Shem was Ham's brother. Not after, a chosen nation. After Not the flood, seed. after the flood, Noah had three sons. Or well, you know, with him. They was the ones who survived the flood. He had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japhet. So Shem was also dark skinned because uh Ishmael comes out of Shem, Abraham come out of Shem. All the Israelites come out of Shem. 
You know what I'm saying? So, so that kills that madness that the Hamites were the only dark people. It destroys it. Right there. It destroys it. You can look it up in the Strong's Concordance and tell you Kadar. Kadar means dark skinned man. There's a, I, I forgot the scripture on top of hand, top hand, but you had Israelites and Egyptians together, and there was a group of people that thought they was all Egyptians. Mm. Yep. Hey, you hold this for a second real quick. I got I got Okay, I'm gonna go back to the Exodus, bro. Exodus okay. two and uh, one and um, uh, I'm gonna start back in eleven. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. This is back in Egypt when Israel was in slavery in Egypt. Um, taskmasters afflicted them with their burdens and they built for Pharaoh treasured cities, the pyramids, Pithom and Ramses. Ramses. Oh, shit. And that's one of them top names they mention a lot when they're going over that pyramid bullshit is Ramses. Ramses, the second. Yep. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied the grew. That's actually talking about the city of Ramses, though. Mm -hmm. Actually, right there. Because there was actually a city that was called Ramses. Right, right. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Now, Ramses got, come from the, uh, from uh, Ra, uh, uh, Ra. Ram, what it means something of Ra, I forget. Uh, I made a video on it, I ain't looked it up in a minute. But, uh, oh, go ahead with that, my fault. This says it right there, the uh, Treasure Cities. Oh yeah, the Treasure Cities, yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Um, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. That's and the hard. Egyptians, made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. Yeah, serve with rigor, just like in America. They make your ass serve with rigor. Sun up to sun down. You can't, yeah, sun up to sun down, eat, sleep, Literally. shit, work. You ain't got time to do nothing. The motherfuckers get a week vacation you need to look forward to once a year. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you know, have fun. If right. you even get that. That should be over for you. Know. That's right, right, right. And they, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar um, and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. Yeah, because if you build houses, if you construction work in America, like I used to be a goddamn electrician. You work every goddamn day. It's like, how many goddamn houses can you possibly build? You just building and building and building, just working and working. Like work, motherfucker, work, 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 motherfucker. Man, they got houses built here in America, man, that just still ain't having a fucking inhabitant in it yet. Right, yeah, uh, that, there, that's yeah. why that, you had that housing bubble to pop. Mm -hmm. Caused that so-called depression we we're in. But it is a depression. I'll go ahead. All their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. It's like America was formed by, uh, by slavery. All, 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 these, all these people that got all their riches in America, they was all slave owners. Even uh, George Washington owned like 300 slaves. Thomas Jefferson had a, that was a he, he had a whole goddamn plantation. Sure. Right, that's why you got that bitch coming out talking about she was she a black bitch coming out talking about she descended from Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> I guess that means you an Edomite bitch. I guess. <laughs> 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 Sorry for you. <laughs> she was all proud of it, like oh, it was my poor father. <laughs> oh, Damn. bitch, you going into slavery? You know there's some stupid ass uh, Navy Marine dude. I was saying that shit about our full photos far for this country. I'm like, this dumbass. I hope they ain't talking about George Washington. But that is natural for a father. That's how stupid Jake is. Jake knows <laughs> Talking about we got it, man. Our forefathers. That was during that uh, boycott shit, that uh, Wall Street shit. But how the hell, how the hell Thomas Jefferson talking about all men are created equal and all free? These motherfuckers own all kind of slaves. Right. That's just some hypocrisy. Hypocritical as fuck. Here you go. The land of freedom. Uh, now, freedom Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. Okay. Um, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now, and know, and seek in the broad places thereof. Ooh. If you can find a man, if there be any that execute judgment, that seeketh the truth, nope. and I will pardon it. Ain't, ain't nobody like that around here. Ain't nobody seeking no truth and no judgment. Ain't no judgment. We was talking about the damn judges earlier. You go to the courthouse, and they taking all your money and you get locked up. Man, they get you both ways. They empty out your pockets, empty out your bank accounts. Oh yeah, if you don't pay child support, 
But they taking that shit out your check. They already taking money out your check to begin with. The IRS taking all your shit. And you ain't gonna do a fucking thing about it. Yeah, plus you got Obamacare. Obamacare, uh, the Supreme Court ruled that Obamacare was constitutional because it's a tax. Just another tax out your fucking check. And not only they gonna take money out your check, but guess what? We gonna make you pay for Obamacare, plus you don't get no insurance. You know what I'm saying? You, they give you some insurance, but it don't actually do nothing for you. You know what exactly. I'm saying? You go, you get people get refused. You go to the hospital. They can be like, oh, we ain't got, a, we ain't got time for you. Uh, come back next week. Dial one eight hundred. Fuck you. What is it? Uh, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, yeah, the number is one eight hundred. Fuck you or something like that. They're starting at the beginning. Starting out, rationing out care now. Yeah, they gonna have they, like the death panels is real. Yeah. They gonna have people, old ladies, and that's good though. Old ladies gonna get denied health care because it, there's not enough money for it. But all that treatment costs too much, you know. So you can just put you to death, let you die. That's good for you. That's good for you. That's how it was set up. Yeah. That was the master plan. That is the master plan, but that's good though because they'll love Obama to their death too. Fuck to their death. Go ahead with that. And though they say. The Lord liveth. Surely they swear falsely. O oh Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Yeah, that's the same thing right there, because all these people, they claim they love the most high. Like everybody's grandma, like we was talking earlier, like everybody's grandma got the Ten Commandments up in their house. You go, every grandma got the Ten Commandments, the praying hands, the Caesar bows there. Uh, what else did we say we had earlier? Martin Which, Luther King. All y'all are a picture of Obama and Martin Luther King on the wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they think they're all God-fearing. They, 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 you know, they don't fear the Most High. You know, they, they don't listen to nothing the Most High says. You know what I'm saying? They just wicked as hell. Egyptology, hey, man. Like when, them too. when they started to, when they were, when they mentioned um, the kingdom, it was they were confused. It was like kingdom? What you mean the kingdom? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They ain't have no clue about no kingdom or nothing, man. The promised land, they don't know about nothing, man. Nothing. They look confused. They actually had a befuddled look on their faces, man. Okay. But they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them. But they have refused to receive correction. They refuse to receive correction. Like, this Christmas thing really fucking makes me mad as fuck. Like, you tell people about this Christmas shit. Look, I don't celebrate no goddamn Christmas. And like, your family, they don't care. They keep asking you what you're doing for Christmas. Like, yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they'll like, you. You know? And then they look at you like you crazy because you got a problem with the Christmas tree or you got a problem with any of this other madness they got going on. They, they don't want to hear no correction. And we they, damn sure ain't down with no Egyptology. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, like, yeah, especially ain't down with that shit. They grew up in all that. Like that, what's that scripture where it says raise that child, you know, in the right path. They'll never depart from it. Yeah, that's all. Um, they did it. Like they grow, they uh, raised their child and all that wickedness. They is not the part of it. Well, they kids gonna grow up retarded yeah, as hell. One day too. The kids gonna grow up bugged out their mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. They will not depart from that wickedness. That's how you get people like Dr. York. That's yeah. how people like him come into existence. Yeah. That big old weirdo just bugged out his goddamn mind, molesting children. Mm -hmm. He was worse than Michael Jackson. Freemason. He was a Freemason. Yeah, that dude's crazy, he was man. An actual Freemason. A fucking Freemason. Yeah. Go ahead with the, you got more. Um, therefore I said, <clears throat> surely uh, they have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Yeah, they refuse to return. Now, we keep telling y'all people, because y'all, they claim to be Christians too. But you don't want to listen to know what the Bible says. We start reading the Bible, you got a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? Why are you talking so loud? Huh? Y'all, y'all, the, the the God's not, and you know, even though you're reading the scripture, it's like, oh, God would never do that to nobody. The Bible's lying. Go ahead. Therefore I said, surely these are poor, they are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their power. Oh, yeah, these people out here is foolish. So, yeah, you Egyptologists, y'all some foolish motherfuckers. Y'all retarded. Y'all have Down Sorry. syndrome. I will give me unto the great men and we will speak unto them for they have known the way of the Lord. Yeah, that's, the elect knows the way of the Lord. That's it. There's only a, few, there's only a small percentage of people that, that have this truth up in them, man. That's a small Because if you had the truth, you already got it up in you. We just, we, we just out here to draw the truth out that's of you. That's a fraction. 
Yeah, small fractions. Tiny fraction. So it doesn't even matter if we out here just talking to the wind. Ain't nobody out here. Fuck it, they ain't gonna get it no goddamn way. You know what I'm saying? Right. We make a video, put it on the internet. Go ahead. And the judgment of their power, but these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bond. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them. A lion out of the forest shall slay you. Go ahead. Yeah, we're reading their future prophecies. <laughs> <laughs> And a wolf of the evenings shall spoil them. A wolf. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces. Yep. <laughs> because their transgressions are many, and their backslidings are increased. It's gonna be beautiful too, man. A lot of y'all are gonna get fucked up, man. We've been saying it for a long time too. Yeah, yeah. And we've been we There's just... only so much you can say until it happens, man. It's gonna happen. Yep. It's that time that's coming. That's what's coming. We already seen them getting fucked up. Yep. The Lord's day of the Lord's action is going to speak and not lie, like it says. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. Right. You got little uh -huh. Now you got children. We didn't live in America. Now you got little children that grew up here who have never heard the Ten Commandments. You know what I'm saying? Or they, they don't know who Moses is. They actually never heard of the Lord before. They never even heard the name Jesus, probably. And that's not even the Lord's real name. But you don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't even know what the hell the Bible. They don't know. They don't even know what that is. So they trying to totally push the Bible out. Cause soon they gonna make the Bible illegal. They are, it's already illegal. Like you, you can't teach the Bible in schools. The teacher get fired. Stu if you take if students get suspended, they take a Bible to school. They suspended. So, right. Oh, that's why nobody likes Tim Tebow. He out there because he claims to believe in the Bible. And he's a big faggot. He, but just because he claims to believe in the Bible, you know, he, they don't give him no love. You know, they don't, they don't want him really to be in the league. Big faggot. And that's what you get, though, for not going hard like you spoke. Tim Tebow ain't out on the streets. <laughs> it's funny as hell. South Park, how... Uh... Uh. Uh, Eric Cartman and then they caught uh, the, uh, the Catholic priest fucking the, somebody's wife in the, in the um, confession thing. Oh, shit. Eric Cartman said, hey, I'm going to the streets instead. And he went, he was on the corners teaching. Oh, <laughs> uh, the South Park creator probably watched the Great Muslim, bro. He was actually on the streets teaching. He's a crowd, too. <laughs> hey, these famous people be watching our videos, man. Yeah, yeah. Or now, just our, they be watching the elders, they be watching GMS videos. Eric Cartman crazy. That's a crazy show, man. Everybody got YouTube, man. Everybody's got YouTube now, okay? Everybody got the little phones. And you can't, I be, I be just searching, I be searching random videos and GMS videos be popping up on the side. Ain't no excuse not knowing this, man. Oh yeah, it's out there now. Man, it's truth is out there, man. It's way out there. They always say, man, these people ain't gonna have no cloak for their, and, and this for truth their, is, for their no cloak. Yeah, none. There's no excuse. Cause no invisible cloak. Cause like you said, uh, just you can get on the analytics on YouTube and click the analytics button, and you can look at all the different countries people's watching our videos in every state. And so the, the truth is getting out there. You can't stop it, man. That's the four corners. <laughs> oh, you got more? What you got? Okay. Um, when I have fed them to the full, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlot houses. The harlot houses. They were as fed horses in the morning, everyone named after his neighbor's wife. Yeah, everybody after their neighbor's wife. Hey, America's a big harlot house, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That's all you got out here is just everybody fucking their neighbors with adultery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One big harlot house, yeah. Cause, I mean, actually, your bitch is someone, really someone else's wife. Because unless your bitch is a virgin, she's really not your wife, technically, you know what I mean? Really, according to the to what the Lord said, shall I not visit for these things? Said the Lord, and shall not my soul be avenged for such a nation as this? Such a nation as this? Whew. Yeah, I don't, I don't know you know Oh shit! I wish it was. I got some tissue. You need a tissue? I got some. It says good for you. Get out here and freeze to death. That's good for you. That shit out, hey, hey, them, you got a lot of Israel. Y'all got a lot of people in the truth. They'll never go outside teaching the code. 
They don't go out in the summertime. Yeah, it's too hot. It's too it get either too hot or it's too cold. Like, oh shit, it's 90 degrees outside. Hey, it's like, I'll pass out that way. Like, it's too it's like football, don't matter what weather you come out. I mean, football is a bunch of faggot shit now. They cancel games now. And now if they see a little lightning, they're going to cancel the football game now. They didn't do that back in the 70s. Nah, back in the 70s, they used to clothesline your ass when you were playing. The motherfucking linebacker come through and take Man, your I, damn I, head yeah, off. I'll never forget that. Uh, we're talking <laughs> a documentary on the uh, the Green Bay Packer game and I think Chicago game. Um, the, uh, when it was, it was like, and it was... That shit was uh, brutal, brutal. Yeah, I watched that game. I remember watching one. Oh, the they, Green Bay, talking about the Ice Bowl? The Ice Bowl, mm -hmm. that's what it was. That, yeah. was, that was the... Uh, uh, hey, hey. Hey. I remember Green that Bay one. I Patriot. watched that game. I watched the game when the whole game, when the whole fucking field was covered in fog. When you literally couldn't see shit, and they kept playing, man. They kept playing. That was a, yeah. that was Phil. I think how, that was. I remember true. Randall Cunningham playing that game. Oh, Philadelphia right. against um. No matter what it looked like, still got to play. That truth, man. Well, fuck all that football. They done shit. pussy fired the game, man. Yeah, that's they done pussy fired. The all, half the athletes is faggots. But now you got all kind of athletes uh, coming out talking about they gay. We had the. Mm -hmm. uh, the NBA player that came out, it was a big deal. They're all supportive of each other. He was like, I'm coming out as a faggot. I now feel Because now he feels comfortable that he can come out. Now the time is right because we live in goddamn Sodom. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my brother out on the field, you know. Mary, you do this life, man. This is business. You know, he's still my teammate. That's what Jim Trestle said. Mm -hmm. When Jim Trestle was the coach for Ohio State. That faggot. This you motherfucker know, like the faggot. said that he had no problem having the coach for Ohio State. This motherfucker said that he have no problem having uh, faggots on his team. He say it's all part of the same football family. That's it's all part. Yeah, he's a faggot. That's funny. Your ass got fired too. The after he ran into us, his ass got fired. All oh, shit went downhill. Then. Most high cursed your ass. That's right. But he looked like a little faggot. Little Jim Trestle walk around wearing a little vest all the time. Like you know what I mean? Looking like a That's big a faggot. That's what they do. Wearing him. Yeah. Looking like a big faggot, man. His okay. best friend's name is Tim Dick, and he owns a fudge house. He's a fudge <laughs> oh, packer. That's, that's the spirit. Oh, man, that's just funny. You got, that's going too far. No, I know his best friend. His oh, name is Tim Dick. That's some funny shit, though. This is some... That's funny as hell. He's actually a fudge packer. He owns a fudge house. He probably, he's a fudge packer. That's... <laughs> Go ye up upon her. <laughs> um, that's funny as hell. Her walls and destroy. But make, but make not a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not the Lord's. For the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me, said the Lord. Yep. They, Israel is some treacherous. Two thirds of Israel just ain't right, man. The, the, just, just like when Israel came out of Egypt, they was begging to go back to Egypt. You know what I'm saying? During the Exodus, they was begging to, to go back to Egypt. They wanted to go. They'd rather be in the slavery than follow the Most High. That's how these people are. They had never like. Like most of these people, you be trying to teach them, they, they don't want to wake up, man. Um, can you imagine that shit when the destruction place, come, man? man? We we up in the chairs and we we sitting there like dumbass fools, uh, reminiscing by hot tank. Man, we had fun there, man. You know what I'm saying? I remember that bad piece of pussy, that bad bitch I met. Man, ain't gonna be a thought in my mind about this motherfucker, man. Hell no. I'm gonna be, I'm be hoping the more mother, oh, man, can you another missile drop? Right. It's looking be down like damn. I don't have I don't have multiple right, right, right. I don't had I don't have multiple dreams when we have seen the missiles too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you lucky the Lord to show you he give you a dream, you see the missiles, it's beautiful. Um I've just been having lately, man, them dreams have power, man. Shit. And they get better and better, yeah. man. I mean, this last dream of the other day, man, I'm actually flying and I'm thinking like damn yeah. man, this shit is nice. And I'm thinking, let me go find some old my motherfucking friends, man. Let me show this shit off. Yeah, I'm flying yeah, and shit. These niggas playing basketball. Too. Like it's, it's, it's a funny feeling. <laughs> right, they looking at me up in the sky. Come on down, play basketball. I'm like, no, I'm flying. <laughs> shit. Right. I ain't coming back down. <laughs> That's what I told him. I was like, hold on, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm yeah. still flying, man. Basketball is that weak shit. They're gonna be tight, man. Shit. My dreams be tight as hell, man. Yeah, you see crazy shit in your dreams, man. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's, that's what people try to, they, that's how you got to be uh, retarded not to be a spiritual person. If you have some crazy ass dreams and you predict the future, or no, you don't predict it, you just see the future. I've had dreams, we have all conversations sometimes, and yeah. we end up having the conversations. I haven't had those dreams, man. That's just kicking, just talking. Yep. I haven't had those dreams. 
That shit bugging me now. A lot of times I don't even mention them, man. A lot oh, of my yeah, dreams I ain't even never mentioned. Right, because it bugs you out. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Some shit's too bugged out to even explain. This time shit happened out here, and me and you looked at each other in the eyes like, damn, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> like some spiritual All shit. All the time. We just looked at each other. We don't say nothing, though, but we just looked at each other like, hey, you know, something spiritual always happened out here. Like the time we was covering the albinos. That's what bugged Oh, yeah, me. we was talking about that. We was reading the scriptures on leprosy. That was out there that day too. <laughs> and, as as we, and then one just walked right by. <laughs> man, it was and a, we ain't seen these tents. Come on, man. That ain't no coincidence. Right, that ain't no coincidence. Right, that's the most I want. That's crazy, man. But it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. That's what they say. Ah, oh, that's just a coincidence. Man, it's too many coincidences. Yeah, we have too many. After a while, the coincidences they just it's too too much. Mm -hmm. For real. Gotta be spiritual to see it. Yeah, that's why you gotta use the spirit. Do you, um, I mean, Egypt towers motherfuckers ain't spiritual. Yeah, they ain't understand it. That's why they ain't go back out there with the elders or the, uh, the, uh, to debate some more. They scared. They, if they, they ain't getting a check. They, they'd rather go somewhere where they can get a check. You know? Or get, or get, a, get a payday. You know what I'm saying? They don't wanna get money, man. Cause they ain't no, you ain't making no money telling the truth. When you teaching the truth, you ain't making no money. You ain't making shit. And the elders is on some smooth, humble shit too. You know, they were humble, just you know, just kicking it with the motherfuckers, man. Right. Yeah, actually, they were setting them up, being cool with them. They were. They just set them up. You know, set them up with the with the, with the whoop. Because man, after you got them niggas before them, man. Well, it was it wasn't until after what happened was after the video where they was on the streets. That's when they got punched in the goddamn <laughs> face, man. The, all the GMS cats, they made like a billion videos. It's just like Polite. When you type in Polite on YouTube, don't yes, man, come up. Yeah, all kind of shit come. Everybody, yeah, yeah, just yeah. all kind of, just fucking Polite yeah. up, bro. It's yeah. over. You can't yeah. come back from something like that. Yeah. I mean, this dude got hit with a with a blitzkrieg of, of, of troops, man. And the videos are still coming out. They still come. This is like we ain't got started yet. It's like a, a thousand motherfuckers making videos, talking shit and clowning on Polite. Right. We ain't really got started because I'm reading into that shit more and more, man. You see that shit more and more, and you just finding out how heathenistic it is. There's people that ain't even in GMS talking shit about yep, Polite. Yep, yep, you yep. got you got black conscious motherfuckers talking shit about Polite. Like, like even said, even yeah. Sarah Suit said he be exposing Polite. <laughs> and you gotta give him props for that, cause he, I, I learned some shit from watching the, sh the shit he brought out on Polite. Yeah, he was true, man. He brought out a lot of even Sarah. You ain't got no truth. You know what? <laughs> you know they, what they exposed. They fucked up. And they opened the, uh, that hornet's nest, fucking with the trail, with oh, the yeah. fucking yep. with the prophets. That, that's why you stuck your fucking with the prophets. Yeah, you stuck your hand in that hornet's nest. Yep. You like you now, got <laughs> fucked that the killer bees yeah. came out on your ass. They still on your ass. <laughs> and you allergic to bees too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That you die from that shit. You allergic. And this is the end of your Egyptology. It's, like, it's the death. This is slow death. Yeah. It's just slow death. It's, a, it's accelerated. <laughs> that shit, it's man. You ain't no coming back from nothing like that, man. You can't. No you can't back. come back from nothing like yeah, that. He opened a portal to the mother niggas that ain't that man. Ain't man. This Egyptology shit. Cause I was into this foolish shit before the truth hit me. You know, and I, hey, I left all that bullshit alone. I said, truth only, man. You know, and that's what's happening with this. And all that shit just exalted Israel. Israel's mm -hmm. just good. Yep. You know what I mean? The word that's just further. Pushing this truth even harder. It might be that hump that make up, bring the rest it, of it, men. But it, it it, you got, that's just the first one because now, because we start, Israel, we starting to take over everything, man. Because you, you, you got Alex Jones talking about Israel. Alex Jones was talking about those, uh, the, the. Yeah, said that something sarcastic, like he's jealous. Right. Like, actually, like he's mad that all oh, these niggas from the street that's yeah, actually Israel. Like they noticed he didn't say nothing bad because he, he didn't. He didn't Say they didn't have the truth, cause you can't debate not against the scriptures, shit. though. They're not saying that shit. Cause you know, cause he knows, cause he, he know GMS know them scriptures. Yeah, cause yeah. Alex Jones be watching GMS videos. He sure does. He, he, sure well, does. he, he yeah, be getting yeah, all yeah. these scriptures. Hey, he, he, be, he, be, uh, he be like, look up that word. Yeah, look yeah, up that so. word. He be look up that word. <laughs> He'll bring out scriptures that they bring up. <laughs> he, he, yeah. he, biting their, he, biting, he biting their style. <laughs> let, let me get this scripture real quick. Oh, shit. Because uh, if you went to the Bible and you find some GMS videos, man, that, they give you all the scriptures you ever needed, man. You ever needed. I mean, if you really want to yeah, learn the scriptures, yeah. you got to watch some GMS. Otherwise, you ain't really going to learn those scriptures. Yeah. 
uh, Proverbs 15 and 2. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. Mouth of fools pour out. And you Egyptologists are foolishness. We, I've been listening to Coast to Coast, George Norrie. Yo, they call him George Snorri. He'll put your ass to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he get on your... I used to like it. Fuck you, George Norrie. What, what that what say again? Proverbs 15 and 2. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright. That's right. That's but right. the mouth of fools <laughs> pours out foolishness. You know, foolishness that your black woman is your, is your queen, yeah. is your god. Now you wanna hear some foolish shit too? Like the Egypt, you ever listen to your boy Steve Quayle? Hey, when Steve Quayle get to talking about them goddamn Nephilim and fallen angels Ooh, man, that's and shit. Some crazy shit and he'll, man. he'll take you out on a bugged out journey. Yeah. <laughs> and man, so, man, these motherfuckers out here is bugged out. That's all the, entertaining. All the, yeah, that's that's entertaining. entertaining for the world. <laughs> I gotta listen to some Steve Quayle. Yeah, I gotta listen to that shit. It's this funny. motherfucker it's crazy, crazy shit, man. You you wonder what kind of crazy shit he gonna say next. Yeah, yeah that's some you it, It's comedy. It's comedy. It is, man. That's serious entertainment, man. And then you listen, oh, what's up, bro? We in the spirit. You in the spirit? You talking about the 12 tribes? Yep. There you go. Go ahead with that. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Oh, yes. People, they think they're doing right. They think Thanksgiving, they think that's the right way. The day to spend time with our family and our loved ones. Well, really, Thanksgiving, like we said earlier, what day is Thanksgiving held on every year? No matter what. On Thursday. You know, Thursday really means Thor's Day. Just like Wednesday is Odin's Day. Because our days of the week come from Norse paganism. So really, Thanksgiving, that goes back to the worship of the, uh, the Norse gods. You know what I'm saying? And Thanksgiving also commemorates the genocide of the North American Indians. Because it's just a big just Latin day of gluttony. Everybody eating, getting fat, eating and stuffing their fat faces. Eating pork and swine's flesh all day. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And read that again. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. So they think that's right. They're going to watch their little football. And they so stupid, they don't realize, you know all the football games? You know it's fake, right? You know it's all set up? Did you know the professional wrestling's fake? Yep. Football is the same thing as professional wrestling. That's why you see the refs. Is they always making a bad call. Everybody's getting pissed. Every hey, you see that goddamn call? Everybody talking about it work. That motherfucker ref. I'll <laughs> kill that motherfucker. If I see that motherfucker. That's cause the refs control that shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, everybody's in fantasy land. They think that shit's real. People think the TV shows they watch is real. You know what I'm saying? They they think what the politician, they think what Barack Obama says is actually real. You know what I'm saying? It's all fan everybody lives in fantasy land. They all high on pills and Oxycodone, they sniffing pills. They going to the doctor, getting their prescriptions. They in fantasy land. They on antidepressants. Go ahead with that. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah, so the end, yeah, so celebrating things like Thanksgiving, celebrating Christmas, that's the ways of death. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is there more to that? Yeah, I can read Oh, there's that proverb, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Four, uh, Proverbs 14 and 13. Even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. Even in laughter, yeah. And the end of, of that mirth is heaviness. Hey, get uh, uh, Ecclesiastes. Hold on, what's that one? The house of mirth? Is that Ecclesiastes? What's that? Ecclesiastes. Are you yeah, guys affiliated with the church or something? No, this is the church. We in the church right now. You know, the, 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 the temple of the Most High is not made with human hands. We can get that. That's in Acts the seventh chapter. Okay. Oh, go ahead. And take, yeah, Acts seven forty eight. We get that. We'll prove to you. And actually, the the church, the uh, you know, the Bible was originally written in Greek. Well, the New Testament was written in Greek, right? And the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. But when you look that word church up in Greek, it says uh, the word means to call out, like you on the streets and you calling out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This is Ecclesiastes. I see you got the Apocrypha. You guys, you guys believe in Catholic? Well, yeah, no, that's Bible. King James. King, King James. James. King James was Anglican. Okay. So this is the King James Apocrypha. All right. That ain't no Catholic Church Apocrypha. You get this the is six, the real deal. 1611. You get the 1611 yeah, version. Yeah. You got all the men there. So you know a little something about the Bible. You know what I mean? That's good, man. 
That's, that's you shocked me just now. I was shocked. Oh, shit. Raised in the Catholic Church. I grew up Catholic and Baptist, so I know. That's why I'm curious to hear, like, where, where you guys, like, what the origins of all this is. It's just you guys. It's the, it's the Holy Spirit. We come, we come straight out of the Bible, bro. Yeah. We teach them about Israel. Ain't nobody teaching about Israel. These churches don't teach you the, uh, who Israel is and teach you about the Lord's people. Because the Lord came to forgive Israel of their, uh, their sin. Hey, you got that shit up there? Yeah, bring that out real quick. Acts 7, 48. Okay, first of all, the churches, they all trapped up inside of a building. This is a cut right to the, all these churches. They don't come out here and do the work. The Lord, the Lord, and he commanded the disciples to go out and teach on the highways and the byways. You know what I'm saying? And Paul, Paul was out in the marketplaces teaching on the streets. Constantly. It don't mean Eastern, Eastern Mall inside the building. They don't mean, yeah, you can do that, but the workers out here, okay? Go ahead. We in the fields right now working. Acts 7 and 48. How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. The Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. That's all these churches. Acts 48. 7 and 48. And you see most of these church steeples, they got the, uh, you ever see they got the point on them to go straight up? It, that's a phallic symbol, represents a penis. And that really goes back to the Norse temples. You can just watch that, that TV show with the Vikings. You watch the Vikings? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they showed you in the Vikings that they had that old, that Norse pagan temple. It was made out of wood, and it looked just oh, yeah, like... Oh, yeah, all them big trees, the wooded area they was at. Yeah, because that's where the Normans came from. Because the Normans are the ones that started building that. That goes back to the Norse pagan I'm going to go ahead with that script. script I just more to that. Which one? You got 748? Yeah, 748. Acts 748. Because all these churches, everything is based on paganism. They all celebrate Christmas. That's a pagan uh, it's day of sun worship. You know what I'm saying? Easter is pagan. That's worshiping the goddess of fertility. That's why all these churches are pagans. They teach a pagan uh, doctrine. Go ahead with that. Acts 7 and 48. They don't be it. The most high dwell of not in temples made with hands. So the Lord ain't in them churches. Keep going. As says the prophet. What you doing with the Hell, Heaven no. is my throne and earth is my footstool. Earth is the Lord's footstool. What house will ye build me? You can't build the Lord a house. You can't build these bodies with no hands either. The Lord, yeah, you the, we're the temple of the most, the most high dwells inside of us. What was that verse from Ecclesiastes that you were talking about? Uh, we about to get, which one? I'm about to get it. You about to get it. To my seven. I think so. Yeah, so. Well, this is, I'm on Acts 7 and 48. Yeah, that's the no, temple. Ecclesiastes 7. Oh, okay. Ecclesiastes, I'm going to start at 1, man. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So it, it, it breaks it down pretty much itself. 7 and 1, Ecclesiastes Ooh. 7 and 1. A good name is better than precious ointment in the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning. In Malachi 2. Than to go to the house of Thanks. feasting. For that is the end of all men. And the living will lay it to his heart. So America is all about, everybody in America, they just living a decadent lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? All they care about is partying. Like tomorrow's Thanksgiving, everybody's going to eat this twine's flesh. Everybody. Oh, there from, from Malachi, was that from? This is, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. We're at Malachi I'm at, uh, I'm, at uh, I'm at 3 now. Here you go. Ecclesiastes 7 and 3. Sorrow is better than laughter. This is out the it. scriptures I'm reading. I get, right. I get that now. <laughs> Sorrow is better than laughter. It's hard to get in scripture when they told them. For yeah. by the sadness of the countenance right, of the heart so is top made up. better. My out here. The heart of the wise is in the house so, of mourning. You ain't trying to hear some scriptures, bro? Oh, no, he ain't trying to hear no it out. scriptures. Check it out for a second. Uh, check it for the a second. Heart. Wait, two seconds or one second? That's all right, though. <laughs> That's all right, though. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So the heart of the wise is in that house of, because we're mad as hell right now. You know what I'm saying? It's about to tell you right here. It, I think it go more. You can't, yeah. If you ain't mad, you ain't, uh, if you ain't mad, you're not wise. If you walk around happy all the time, something's wrong with you. Ain't nothing to be happy about. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't be happy about out here, bro. I'll tell you what, you live my life, you ain't gonna find shit to be happy about. Even Tupac said that. He said the hood is all good for nobody. You know what I'm saying? But the, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. You know what mirth means, right? 
Yeah. House laughter. Yeah, laughter. Feeling yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, like party. How was your son? How was your family, son? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, a lot of parties end up with someone getting shot anyway. There you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and I always praise the Most High when I hear about there's a party and someone gets shot. I praise the Most High. That's right. Because the mo Most High, He put a He put an end to their fun. That's he right. does it all the time. And it's increasing you know what I'm more and more at these these clubs. It is and these bars clubs. People and, getting shot yeah. up. Yep, That's yep. a punishment from the Most High out there acting like a wild pack of hyenas carrying on with the, the thought of the Most High in nobody's mind. Nobody's sure. talking about the Most High. You know, everybody. You know. Trying to fuck the next dude's girl, you at a party. Talk to you, Yeah, they doing that. And plus, all the hoes up in that half damn neck, they all or scheming. All, all these bitches is hoes, bro. Every these bunch of filthy ass hoes. It ain't shit. That's what you treat them like hoes too. They That's ain't right. shit. That's right. Listen, more. Remember, I'm reading the Bible. It is better. Yeah, excuse me for the harsh language. <laughs> but sometimes we have to speak plain English. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Right, it's better to get cursed out with these scriptures than to be hanging out with a bunch of fools. Like, like you could be the next person to get shot. You know what I'm saying? That party, you could be the next one. For as the cracking of the thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This is vanity. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Yeah, we live, we're oppressed. You live in America, we're oppressed. You can't never own shit. You ain't never going to be shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so if, you ain't, if you ain't mad, you ain't wise, man. Right. Oh. And a gift destroys the heart. If you have any doubt, yeah, a gift, you got a lot of sellouts. A lot of our people, they just sell out. You know what I'm saying? Like the Egyptologists we was talking about earlier. Right. Like all these athletes is all sellouts. All these musicians, all, all these musicians are all sellouts. They're all Freemasons. You know what I'm saying? All about that piece of the right hey, Listen carefully, listen carefully. Sure, <laughs> uh, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger rested in the bosom of fools. That's the scriptures I'm reading here. That's the Bible I'm reading here. You know, all these people walking around, you look at some people and you, the hell he smiling for? He ain't with nobody. You know what I'm saying? All these women just smile for no damn reason anyway. You know why they smiling? Some of them probably just got their uh, child.